Good morning, everybody. It's Andy Wilson. I'm here with uh, Tom Kozlowski. It's Sunday morning, March 29th. Um, Tom and I are here to kind of talk about the CARES Act, which is a, a pretty important document that uh, uh, and bill that's just been signed uh, by the president. Uh, also want to give you a quick update on the office. We are open. We are essential personnel. Um, we have started to have personnel uh, work from home and VPN in uh, on a daily basis so we can reduce uh, the amount of people in the office. Uh, but we are here. If you need us, you can call us, you can email us. We're having appointments on a daily basis. Most of those appointments we would prefer using the Zoom uh, meeting, uh, which has worked out great for us the last two weeks. I think our clients really enjoy that as well, uh, being in the safety of their own home and uh, you know just working through the computer and being able to see each other's faces and communicate. So again, feel free to reach out to us and I think we'll get a lot of question on these CARES Act. We'll be here all week to, to help you with that process. So the CARES Act, again, is it's a massive uh, uh, text, 880 pages. Uh, it really has five to six different topics that we feel that we've broken it down into. And we've been able to kind of research through a lot of uh, text as well as people that we trust that are writing about this document. Um, and we've organized it in a website, uh, or excuse me, a page on our website um, that we think is going to be beneficial for our clients. So depending on what section uh, that is important to you, um, you'll be able to go to that section and be able to read that topic uh, as opposed to trying to read everything. So Tom's going to actually talk about those six topics uh, that we've broken this down into. So I'll hand it over to Tom. Great. Thanks, Andy. Okay, so um, as Andy mentioned, uh, we have several different sections. The first section is on tax changes. Here you'll find information on filing deadlines for both federal and state returns, as, as well as when any tax payments, if owed, may be due, as well as other tax-related items. Now, notable here is that the federal and Maryland tax returns have been extended to July 15th. But not all states have, however. Um, I know Virginia has not changed to uh, July 15th. Uh, but there is a link here to each state's current filing deadlines. So if you need to get information on that, that's the place to find it. Second, payments to Americans. Here you're going to find out info on qualifying for the currently one-time payment of $1,200 per adult and $500 for kids 16 and under. Uh, and again, notably here is that if you look at your adjusted gross income, which is on line 8B of your federal tax return, and then check out the guidelines that we have on this section, you'll be able to determine if you qualify for this one-time payment. Number three, there's a section for those of you who may be unemployed. Now this discusses the additional $600 per week benefit. Now for Maryland, the maximum weekly benefit is $430. Therefore, if you are a higher income earner in Maryland, you could receive as much as $1,030 per week. Now of note here is those of you who are self-employed or 1099 subcontractors, you are eligible to apply and receive benefits. Fourth section, retirement accounts. Notable changes here include eliminating the required minimum distribution for those of you who are over 70 and a half for 2020. And it also changes the availability of withdrawing money from your retirement accounts. You can now do so if you need to, when you're, if you're under 59 and a half, you can access up to $100,000 without paying a 10% penalty. Uh, also, loans on 401ks and company retirement plans have also increased to $100,000. Fifth section, the self-employed and small business. This discusses the details for businesses or the self-employed with less than 500 employees to apply for loans through the SBA, Small Business Administration. Of note here, You'll be able to apply through your local bank. 
if you don't lay off employees, or if you have laid off employees and you rehire them, the loan can turn into a forgivable grant. Now, you would have to pay the interest back, however. And finally, we have a section for articles, links, miscellaneous items that we have covered that we feel could be of use to you um, as, as we're going through this. So uh, basically, you know, obviously the legislation was put together in record time. So we expect changes, updates uh, over the next couple of weeks, and we'll continuously be updating our website and hopefully sending out some more videos that we think uh, pertain to people um, that are affected by this. So again, don't hesitate uh, in your specific situation to give us a call. Um, we'll continue to be here to try and help you through the process. And uh, we just want you to be safe and healthy, and we wish you all the best. Thanks. Thanks.